Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When I begin the audio cast of my living, I always remind people about this. My suggestion in saying that mantra that I coined is that people have to remember where they are in their life. They might be at the beginning of their career, they might be in the middle of their work, they might be closer to the tail end of, well, what was their career. But what I'm telling you is that sometimes in life we have to be willing to change directions or we completely miss out on the blessings that God can provide us. When God says it's time to be done with this, it means it's really time to be done. It's that little voice whispering to you saying, it's time to be done with teaching. It's time to be done with real estate. It's time to be done with mortgage. It's time to be done with banking. It's time to be done with hacking that man's stuff. It's time to be done with interfering. It's time to be done and focus on your own life, your own place, your own space. See, you might have a marvelous home, but it's not fully paid for. So you have to really project out forward how many years of job must I have in order to maintain and keep my space, my place, my shelter for me and my children. When a man has children who live abroad or grandchildren who are overseas, it gets mighty difficult to make connections. What I know in the couple times that I've dealt with extra technology that was be really being abused by other people, I just laid it down. When the Lord said, lay down this little stupid ass power book computer or whatever the hell they call Google book computer, I literally deleted everything and laid it down on the grass in front of someone's house. And my prayer for that family was that they needed a computer. I've done the same with umbrellas and other signs. But what I can tell you is what when God says, lay it down, and give it up to God. He means it. You see, most people won't give up their decisions to the Lord. Most people will not listen to good reasoning. And most people often make serious mistakes in their life that they think that nobody in the world has seen. I can openly tell you that I've seen a lot of misery in the last five years of life. But I've also seen a lot of moments of joy, a lot of moments of adventure, a lot of moments of nature that I wouldn't ever seen if I hadn't been in the space that I'm in, if I hadn't have been in the place that I was, if I wasn't driving my business vehicle when I had it. You see, the Lord above can lead you to some amazing God signs, and I'm not going to take away that word from the woman who owns it. She is an excellent teacher most of the time. She works in a metaphysical store, and her name is Professional Annie. But I'm not going to give you the rest of her name because I don't have the lawful right to tell you that. I can certainly direct you to her company if you want to go meet her, but I'm not interfering with her life. You see, in life we have moments of time to make a recommendation, make a referral, help someone build a program, help them establish their networks. But when people really want help from me, they have to drive up and say, hey, here you're pretty smart, I want to get some advice. Here's my money, how much do I get for that amount of time? Today a woman walked up to me while I was busy working on my computer and tried to hand me five dollars. I appreciate that. That is our ministry minimum. But the minute that I said a polite no to check her, she said, oh, okay, and walked away and gave the money right to the ground of a panhandler. So she chose me first, which I'm complimented by, but she didn't get the information well in her mind. And what the Lord told me was, as much as we should have and could have received that money, the money was already tainted. Because in her mind, she was going to give money to someone to make her feel good, as opposed to looking at the money as a way to give someone who really needed it and should have received it, but couldn't because they listened to God.